Welcome back guys, this is Zest of Customs. We're back again with the Krita Chris Vector build. Today we are going to show you how we install the tracer unit, how we connect it to the board, uh, why we connect it to the board, how we manage to uh, wire everything and make it cleaner or at least in our eyes. Sit down and watch. Now that we have the gearbox millet down, in order to accept our uh, max model hop-up unit, we are ready to proceed with the tracer on it. How we are going to connect that? Well, we thought for a second that we will need a MOSFET in order to control it, uh, but and actually connected uh, with the MOSFET to the micro switch which is not so micro to the switch actually to the trigger switch and uh, make it a little bit more complex but since the consumption was only uh, half an amp uh, maybe we are not going to need it you can clearly see what is the consumption out of it? Just a second. Half an amp or 500 milliamps. Well, we think that this is going to be uh, okay if we connect it directly to to the motor so once you pull the trigger you get a light coming coming uh, from the hop up and your bbs will be definitely uh, lighted up and the tracer will look like that in full auto it will be engaged as long as you are uh, sending electricity uh, to the motor and this is the simple the simple idea that we have yes yeah, sometimes depending on the electronics this is not so good because uh, it lower down or lower down the the battery uh, faster but anyway if we have to connect it uh, and make a switch to engage it and let it uh, work forever it's going to consume even more since on the crytac there is no much space for uh, many batteries at least with with the original stock we think that this is the best solution that uh, that one can have when it wants to have the tracer on the hop-up unit so let's proceed with the cable management and later on we will test it out.
Now we have all the channels for the cables milled down and we are ready to assemble and to rewire the, the cable the cables we will put the hop up of course right here the cables will pass through here we will go directly to the controller and from the controller a small plug will go back from here and we'll be plugged to the hop-up unit it's going to look like actually like this from here we'll go direct down it's, well it's not so cleaner but at least we find the spot for every detail and we can uh, say that it's cleaner because this shit where you mount it uh, safely this is maybe the best place that you can use for the controller we will time lapse it so you will see the cable management a little bit later was all from us right now the next video will be with the compression chamber some more small parts that we modify on the same gun also another parts that broke and we make a work around uh, on the milling machine so stay tuned guys and till next time